we're now going to go back to the type and have some fun with type and to make this a little more obvious I'm going to make a new file here just a new blank file so you can really see and focus on just what the type is doing of course you would normally be putting your type on a picture but it's the same thing this is just make it easier to see so let's make a new file here file new blank file let's do the default Photoshop element size right there leave all that as is choose OK and there we go our color our foreground color is black if I go over here to the horizontal type tool you see that, that gives me the color as black down here as well I'll leave all that as is and let's just put in some text in here I'll just call this type notice that I have bold and italics on this as well you don't have to have that and choose OK so I've now put in some type it's that easy to put in more type just go back to your type tool click a new point and then type in your additional type these go in as separate layers. Let's just take a look at our layers quickly here. Let's bring our layers back up again. There we go. Each one comes in as its own layer. Notice that the layer says what that layer is. You know, whatever you have typed in the layer, you can see it over here. So it's easy to see which layer is which. To change layers, just choose your layer and then you can move that layer around. Now you may have auto select layer selected down here. If that's the case, you can then roll over the other layer and just grab it like that. You don't have to actually change layers. I found that sometimes that messes me up though, so I tend to not have that selected. Sometimes you'll, you'll click just outside and you think you're moving this, but then everything behind moves instead. So I never really will do it this way just to guarantee that I, it does what I want it to do. That's especially true if you have a lot of stuff on your page, you know, a lot of layers on your page. This can become a problem, but there you go. Okay, so we have our la type layers. Easy to make new type. Just click in here. Set your typeface, your color, your size. Click in here and then type in your new type. Now, when you have a type in here, you want to edit that type. Just, just roll the cursor over. Notice how as I roll over that, the border goes away on my cursor there's a, a box around it and then there's no box when you see no box just double click it selects that type and I can then come in here and I can change that type I can change the anything I want to about that type when you're happy click on that green check mark and that sets that in place so there we go pretty easy to add and pretty easy to edit the type as well. Now one more way of adding type, let's just, just put this up over here and I'll move it in behind. There we go, a little overlap on that, kind of fun. Let's go back to our type tool. Now both of these I just clicked and it gave me type at that point. I can also click and drag like this and create a type area and the type will then go inside of this type area. Let's just bring the size down a little bit here. I'm going to say 36. Left adjustment. Here we go. And let's just expand that a bit so you can see that. Pull it over this way. So you can see now how the type is staying inside of this type area. So you can make these type areas just take the type tool click and drag and create an area and then your type will stay inside of that area this is very useful if you're doing layout for a page design magazine ad you know whatever it is you're doing you want to have your type fitting in a certain location just do it that way just type tool click and drag to create a type area and then you can your type will stay inside of that type area Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. 
feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.